Hello everyone, I'm Rafael Alvarez and this is Alvarez Metalworks. So, today as you saw in the in title of the video, we're going to start talking about the, the Harbor Freight 40 pound blast cabinet. Okay, this is the one that typically sells if you find it on sale for about $150. Um, give or take, depends on the sale. I got mine for about that price, you know, not including tax. Um, so anyway, um, let's get straight to the the meat of this and, and and why I bought this and and where I'm going with this video and future videos um, number one I've been going back and forth on whether I wanted this cabinet okay I've I've highly considered building myself a very very large cabinet something large enough for me to put an axle housing in or maybe like a motorcycle frame or something like that um, not that I'm not that I expect to do all that kind of stuff but the fact of the matter is is that when you need to do that if you got a small cabinet like this, it's just then you're going to be kicking yourself. Um, the reason I decided to go ahead and do it was pretty simple. I have stuff that needs to be sandblasted that fits in this cabinet, and it needs to be sandblasted now. Okay, so it, the sale came up right at the right time. I, I just got the money. You know, I had a good um, payday on YouTube on in December, and I just got paid. And, you know, the sale came up with this, and I was thinking about it, thinking about the project I need this for, which is sandblasting some H1, you know, Humvee wheels. So, I just went and jumped on it. Now, doing my research on this cabinet, I discovered a company by the name of Tacoma Company. Um, the owner of it, his name is Mike, and he sells a, like a conversion kit, not a conversion kit, but basically an upgrade kit for this okay basically he's, he's he's got a few different levels of of kits that he has to offer and they start in at about 275 dollars and, and then they go up from there and so i decided to give him a call I, i've heard nothing but positive reviews about his upgrade kit number one um, number two his website is a, just a static page there's no way to buy it there's no inf really information about it on his website so you know, and based on listening to other people that have talked to him before and saying, and them informing everybody, you know, this is a really good guy. He's very informative. He hands out, you know, very helpful information without any kind of issues. You know, I decided, okay, I'm going to give this guy a call. I just went out and, and bought the cabinet, okay? I know I'm going to buy his kit, so I just went out and bought the cabinet. Sorry about my hand getting in the in the frame. So... I gave him a call once I got home with this thing and, and I talked to him at length about his upgrade kit, about compressor requirements, about you know other sandblasters on the market and just sandblasting in general and, and he handed out a ton of information, you know, and one of the things that he said to me right out the gate that I'm gonna mention right now was that a very large number of people that have bought this Harbor Freight cabinet are not assembling it properly. So what he suggested to me is that I unbox it, I lay it all out on my shop floor, then give him a call, and he would walk me through the proper assembly of this cabinet. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to tear this all out. We're going to spread it out all over the floor. Make a big mess in my shop, and then I'm going to wrap up this video, and that'll be part one, and part two will be after I speak with him, jot down a bunch of notes, we'll assemble it to his instructions to the T, and then we'll go from there. Now, I'm going to order his, his upgrade kit. Which kit I get, I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'll talk to him tomorrow, and we'll go from there. Um, but I know I'm going to order it right away. Um, so, that will also be a future video. So the next video in line after I get this up and running, or assembled, will, will be for me to test this in its completely stock form, and give you guys, and let you guys see what's going on with it. Once I get the upgrade kit, I will upgrade it. I'll have a video on how to do that. And then I will have a test video to show you the difference between stock and the upgraded. Give you my feedback on it. And then, 
After all of that, I'm going to put together a series of videos strictly related to sandblasting. Everything from compressor requirements to blast media, um, just knowledge in general. Any, any little bit of knowledge that he shares with me that, that I know will be helpful for you guys when it comes to sandblasting or, or just ed, your education as far as this stuff in general. I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm going to make sure to document it all. And, and you may have some lengthy videos of me just yapping. But the point is, is to share all this information with you guys. Get it documented. Get it online. So that there is no questions. So with that being said... Let's get this thing unwrapped. Let's get it spread out on the shop floor and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Um, got everything laid out. I've got my factory instruction manual, user manual, owner manual, whatever, right here. Um, I'm not going to set that aside, like throw it away. I'm going to actually use that to compare notes with what he's telling me, okay? Um, with that being said, you know, we got all our panels here. Everything everything looks complete. You know, I was pretty satisfied with the packaging that Harbor Freight put together. I didn't see any any issues or compromises in the packaging that could result in loss of parts. Um, the glass for the window is packaged up in here with styrofoam. Looks to be well protected. Um, and all the parts and the bolts and whatnot are, are all right here. Now, <clears throat> I will say this, and, and I'm going to bring this up right now. During the assembly, part of, part of the modifications to this blast cabinet that I know for sure that will be done is, is making this grate smaller. And what it does is it allows you to lower the floor of the blast cabinet and get a higher volume or get, get a larger space to work in. I'm not so sure I like this grate. I've got a bunch of expanded steel left over from the roof rack builds so I I'm not gonna say for sure but I may go ahead and, and replace that now regardless if I replace it or not when when Mike tells me how to build this I'm gonna build it 100% dead on to the T the way he recommends if I choose to replace that floor it will be in a later video but the point is, is to build this the way they recommend it so that you guys can see every bit of it. No modifications on my end that are not part of his kit. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out RourkeSupply.com. Use coupon code METAL to get 10% off everything that you order. And remember to subscribe, comment, like, and thanks for the support and talk to you later.